Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at editing a video from start to finish in Adobe Premiere. We're going to be looking at importing everything into the project, getting it onto the sequence, chopping it to the music, speeding up, slowing down. My name is Adrian Kay and the purpose of this tutorial is to teach you all these skills in a really concise video. So when we open Premiere we get this option here to open a new project or of course open a recent project. I can choose a name for this project. Ed Editing, I'm going to call it, and then you choose your file uh, location, browse, but I've already got one set. Okay, and in we go. This will open up the standard workspace. I will then open up my folder where I have everything that I want to use for this project. I've just got some stock footage here and one piece of music that I've already picked. I will just drop it all down into the project window here. I would normally suggest that you get a bit more organized in here with folders. You want your music separate to your artwork and your logos, uh, sound effects, footage. But for now, I am just going to grab all this footage and drop it straight onto the sequence. Here, as we can see, this footage, I'll just make this bigger so we can see a bit better. This footage comes with some uh, audio attached. Just a few shots do. So if I try to delete that, if I try to delete it, it wants to delete the footage as well. Control Z, undo. So all I have to do is press Alt, and that unlinks it from the footage, and I can delete that separately. There we go. So what I might do is just get a bit of an order of how I might want the footage. That one makes a nice opener for me. I quite like that. Now I've got those reorganized. I'm going to highlight that, bring them back down. Oops, missed some, missed one. Bring them back down here so I can see them a bit better. And we're going to bring the music in. Click, drag, drop. Couldn't be easier. And one of the first things we're going to do is start cutting to a beat in the music. We can do that visually. Down here, you can see the waveform and you can try and look for the beats. Or we can listen to the music and I use the M key to set markers along the timeline over here. I will quickly do that. Okay, that's probably more than we need for this tutorial, but uh, it gives us plenty to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit over here, not too much, and I can use this, let's have this as our opening shot. That's quite nice. And now you can see where my first beat is by this marker here. If I press the shift key while I'm moving this timeline marker around, it will snap to there, which is very useful. And then I have different options to cut this clip. I can press the C key and that gives me this razor blade tool. Clip. And that has now sliced that shot there. Okay. I'll just undo that. Another option is to press Control and K. And that cuts everything on the line, as long as it's highlighted over here. So I'll just undo. Maybe I make sure that my audio track is not highlighted, and I press Control K. And then it simply just cuts my footage and leaves the audio alone. So that's a quick way of doing things. Keyboard shortcuts are the rule. If you can, uh, as you're le learning to edit, teach yourself the shortcuts and everything happens so much faster. That's as simple as that. I am just going to now get rid of this piece of footage because I don't want it. I want this one brought up to meet it. I go back to my selection tool here, which is V. Click, delete. Then I've got a huge gap. Then I can click delete on the gap, press delete, and it brings everything up to meet the previous shot. Uh, now, as it happens, that is not the shot I want there. I'm thinking this flying around the building one, maybe. I'm going to pop that there. Move these out of the way. Let's have a look. That should happen on the beat. That's very nice. But what I might want to do to this clip, for whatever reason, maybe I'm not happy with the direction of travel. So I'm going to right click on it, go to speed duration, check the reversed speed uh, box, and now we're flying the other way around the building. Easy, easy. I'll just zoom in a bit, and maybe my cut wants to be 
there on the marker that I made. So I'm going to control K. That's going to cut that there. I can delete this one. Let's just see how that looks. Very good. Now let's move this one into place. Now this is a long shot, so we can do something uh, crafty here. Let me just zoom in. I've got a gap. There it is. Uh, we're a little bit out. There's the beat. So I'm just going to move that across to there, that across to there. Now there is another tool you can use to do that called the Ripple Edit, but that's for another video. Ah, now we get that nice beat, that din, din, din. So I'm going to use the marker tool again for the music. There we go on those beats. I like those. Now what we're going to do here is on these beats, I am going to remember again, use the shift key and I can snap to that beat there. I am going to control K to cut. I am going to use my selection tool V and I'm going to chop a chunk of this clip off and then move it up. So that will jump cut now. Again, I will shift and move to the next. Control K cut. Chop a chunk off. Obviously all the chopping is to personal preference. Right now I'm just uh, doing it for the purpose of the tutorial. Shift, snap, Control K, drag a chunk off, and then you'll see what this is doing with the music. Very nice. There we go. And then that's the place where we will control K and delete that piece. So I will move on to these next two pieces that I like the look of. I think these will work really well together. They're both uh, motion shots, drone shots. Now what we could do here is we could do a bit of speed ramp to move from one shot to the next. You can hear that noise in the song. We could speed up the video there. So if I choose about here, if I click away, click back on this shot, so we're just highlighting this one, I can speed this up using time remapping up here. So I drop down both um, menus. I'm going to put a keyframe right there. And the second half of the shot, let me move my marker across a little bit and then it will tell me my percentage over here. I'm going to get this line and drag it up, 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 up. Now we can probably go more than that. Oops, up. Let's go up to about 400 maybe. Now what we'll probably need to do here, let's just have a look first of all. Very cool. Now what we can do is, as you can see here, that steps up from slow to fast in one abrupt step. So we can pull this keyframe into two parts and spread out the process. And then it will happen slowly. And watch. Very nice. I like that. We could even go a bit further that way. I like that a lot. In fact, I'm even going to speed it up a bit more. Now, where's the beat we want to finish on? There. You see with the marker? So what I can actually do is I can use the whole clip and I can drag this up until we can see that step off there. That meets there. Oh, almost. A bit too much. There we go. And that, I'll just zoom in with the plus key. Sorry, over here. And I can see that that just wants a little snip back to there, like this. Very cool. Then we'll bring the sunflowers up to meet it, and we're going to do exactly the same thing, but we're going to reverse it. So what we'll do... is I'll put my marker about there, make sure I'm highlighted. We go back over here, drop down the menu, pop on a keyframe. Now this time I'm going to go on the front side and ramp this up to 
let me see, put my marker here so I can see. Ramp that up to about 400 or something about there. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, and that, that was perfect. That, that's the beat there. So I just need to move the keyframe. But we're going to slow it down slowly anyway. So I'm going to just open this keyframe up. And we'll let that happen across the beat, which is there. Now, I quite like the abrupt finish to that speed ramp there. Because it works nicely with the beat. Let's just watch it one more time. And... Then that's our next cut there. And so on and so forth. And let's have a look at another shot. Oops, zoom out there. Maybe. Let's try this one. And let's use some zooming with cuts. Again, I'm going to get the beats by pressing the M key. There we go. Zoom in a bit. Yep, there we go. And I'm going to cut here. And we're going to jump. I'm going to cut there. Oops, cut. That marker's a little bit off. I can see it anyway. I'm going to cut there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on this first clip, I'm going to go up here to the effects pane and I'm going to zoom in quite a bit. Let's go about, oh, I don't know, 150. And on the second one, let's pull out to about one, what do we reckon? About 140. This one, one twenty something, one twenty five. How many do we need? Oh, yeah, that's probably okay. Now, as we can see, that one's a little bit out, so I'm just gonna do that, and then we'll have a cut there, control K. And I'm going to lose that bit. Then I'm going to grab one last shot just to finish it off. Um, how about the rain on the trees? Let's zoom back out here. So what I'll maybe do here. Now normally you would then edit the music as well. And try and put more of an ending on the music. But for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to... Cut that clip there. Cut that clip there. I am going to press A, which gives me this tool, which selects everything to the right hand side and deletes it because I don't need any more. I will have a look at the whole sequence in one there. And we can play this through and have a look how it's how it looks. place to end it there yes I realize the music doesn't really have an end in there but that'll be for another video and then I am going to put a dissolve at the front and back of the video so over here in the effects pane I am going to go to video transitions dissolve cross dissolve I'm going to put one at the front I'm going to drag and put one at the end now it's normally nice to slow slow the fade at the end so as you can see I'm holding on to the transition and dragging it out and that makes it longer like that and the one at the start I normally like it to come up quicker so I'm going to zoom in a bit there and there we go so there's your transitions now obviously you can use these transitions in between clips and finally I am going to go to audio transitions here in the effects pane 
crossfade and the constant power drop that on the end of there and normally i would extend this out quite a long way because your brain only notices the audio going down when it's about halfway through the transition so it gives you a good warning there we go so the final thing to do here would be to export the video once everyone's happy with it so you go up to file export media and one of the simplest settings best ones to use you know you can't go wrong is first of all uh, h.264 that is an mpeg4 it's a bit slow to catch up and it's already on there as a preset you have different options but the first one is usually the best one match source high bit rate you can't go far wrong with that if you've used previews if you've been rendering and previewing throughout you can uh, click the use previews and that will help the uh, export happen faster then we can have an export name decide where it's going to give it the name save and click export and off it goes if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please like, subscribe and share. This is going to help the channel grow. And if you've got any comments on a way I can do things differently or any tutorials you'd like to see, please let me know. Over here is a more in-depth tutorial on zooming in on your footage. Otherwise, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.